When people hear the word musician, the first thing that comes to mind is playing. The fact is, most people don't realize the amount of work that has to be done before a musician even hits the stage. Duke's Good Times in Cranston is typical of where Archives works, playing classic style rock and roll for their fans. Here the band's crew must spend hours upon hours setting up equipment before even a single note can be heard. Setting up for a show like this involves everything from lifting and moving heavy but delicate equipment to interconnecting all this equipment by means of a complex matrix of signal and electrical cables. Frank, the band's drummer, is instrumental in assisting Paul, Archive's sound and lighting technician, with this extensive process. We come in about two in the afternoon and set up the light show and the PA system and then go home, take a shower, come back, play three sets and tear everything down and load it back out and get out about three. So it's a good 12 hour, 13 hour day. Meanwhile, as the stage is being set, the other band members are busy at their various other occupations. I work for Hobart. I repair food equipment, mixers, microwave ovens, dishwashers, garbage disposals, computer scales. It's all commercial food equipment. I have my own business. I'm a draftsman for uh, reinforced concrete. The shipping and receiving, they make uh, circuits, they deliver to all the big computer companies and we distribute them all over the world and it's very busy. I have a cosmetology license, which is to say that uh, I'm a hairstylist. But um, I haven't been working the past couple of months, just out of sheer laziness. With the band's bookings averaging three to four nights a week in clubs around the Rhode Island area, all this adds up to a busy schedule for the band members. They work Tuesday day and Wednesday day. And we're playing out Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night. Today we came in about, about one o'clock in the afternoon, set up, make sure everything's good for the weekend, you know, sound check the whole system and everything. And we go home. Take a shower. I at work at 8 o'clock. Uh, got out at 5, got home. Took a shower, came here for rehearsal. We come back, do three sets, and then uh, tomorrow we'll get here about 1 in the afternoon again. We'll tear everything down tomorrow, because we have to be out of here by 1.30. Playing Friday at Arts, Saturday at the filling station. Get up tomorrow morning, work all day, play again until tomorrow night, until 2 o'clock. Tear everything down, go to the new club, set everything up, play three sets, break everything down. They have to work Saturday day, and then we have a double on Sunday. Saturday, if I'm not on call, I should get a chance to sleep. It's a pretty long day. I sleep six hours a night, and I work every other hour in between. <laughs> How's that? Despite all of the hard work and sacrifices involved in their rock and roll lifestyle, Archives has enjoyed working and playing together for nearly a decade. I love my job. It's a real stress relief. I love this band. This is a great band. It's a lot of fun. It's my outlet. It's, when everything's clicking up there, it's, it's joy. It's incredible. And as the last note fades out, the band can go home with a sense of satisfaction that comes from doing a good day's work. <laughs>